Hey, YouTube Rando here. So we had some new finds this week for the bug out bag. Uh, also, we're going to be doing an unboxing from Bud K, which is a company. It's uh, not a YouTube user or anything like that. It's a company called Bud K. Uh, most of you probably heard of them. Ken Shaw, uh, Bud K, CH Cadles, uh, those companies. It's all the same company. Um, but we got a box coming in from them tomorrow that we'll wrap up with. And then we got uh, quite a few farms that we picked up on eBay and Amazon coming in. So we just wanted to share them with you. And the first one is the UCO Micro Candle Lantern. Uh, if you remember right, we picked this one up for the bug out bag. I wanted a secondary candle lantern for my bug out bag because I kept the uh, I keep the original in my uh, EDC kit actually with a few extra candles uh, just for emergencies. And then uh, I wanted an extra one just for my bug out bag. So we were going to go with the mini, but with the exposed globe, I didn't think that was such a great idea. Even in the cocoon case, it's kind of soft. I wouldn't want to uh, take the risk of that exposed globe getting cracked. So we were trying to do the same thing with the cheap tea light candles. The micro uses the same candles. It's not going to store as many, um, but it's going to store enough. And then we'll have some spare ones throughout the bag somewhere. We'll figure out to put. Uh, somewhere we'll figure to put some so uh, we're going to be doing a full review for this over on uh, Texas Gear Reviews uh, but we are going to do an overview of all our UCO products over here on Rando Survivor soon as well uh, so be looking forward to those we are going to reset our camera and we'll come back right at you Alright, so my package finally came in. It took forever. I'm still expecting a bunch of more, but we're just going to go ahead and wrap this one up with this. Again, this is the uh, Bud K order. This is going to be check gas mask, I believe. Uh, I know it's not for the bug out bag. I just got it because I like older relics. basing my uh, bug out bag around. I wanted something small that I could attach a lot of outer packs to. That way I can keep everything organized. It drives me crazy when I have a big bag uh, and I have one pocket just shoved full of stuff. So this smaller pack, it has a lot of molly webbing on it. We'll definitely show it and maybe do a little review. Got a couple packs of the compressed towels. I love these things. Okay, the SE portable chainsaw. It's really light. It's supposed to come with a little sheet. Yeah, it comes with a little sheet. Got that. The Fox Outdoors pouch. Uh, multi purpose accessory pouch. It's supposed to be Molly Webbing compatible, so. This is one of these Swiss M71 stoves. Uh, I've been wanting to check one of these out. So, we'll see how that works. Uh, I don't know if I'll use it or not. If so, I'll order a new one. But Some bug repellent. Gotta have that for your pack. I have off wipes, but I don't have any kind of spray repellent. Little mini LED headlamp. That was like three bucks, I think. This was two dollars. The saw was fifteen. The compressed towels are two dollars a pack. The mini pouch was oh, let me see, thirteen dollars. The gas mask was ten dollars. 
the uh, Red Rock assault pack was like $45, somewhere's right in there. This is one of the larger uh, GI style can openers. I don't like the little ones, I like, you know, something a little bit bigger. Zippo Cedar Fire Starter. I think this was like two bucks for this disc. I just wanted to try it out and see if it's any good. See if it's better than cog ones because that's what I use now. And then the Maxim one quart aluminum canteen kit. Comes with the canteen and then the little cup there. Uh, I do have plans on getting a uh, stove for it as well. A stand so you can burn underneath it. And I think that's going to be it. Uh, I don't think we have much more. We're definitely going to show these items individually and, uh, you know, uh, tell you what we paid for them, tell you what we think about them, stuff like that. We'll do some, you know, overviews over here and then we're going to be reviewing, doing full reviews on a lot of this stuff over on Texas Gear Reviews. So, uh, stuff like this and this though, we'll just let you know what we think about it. This is SE. Uh, SE seems to sell a lot to, uh, uh, Bud K and those companies, so uh, you know it's all made in China, I'm sure. Yeah, made in China. So that's going to be it for this one. Thanks for watching, YouTube.